Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here again for a Finally Friday video series. Today I'm going to show you guys a reverse image or mirror imaging technique to give you a totally new way to shake up your images. If you want those cute little donkeys from Celebration uh, facing each other and they're only going one direction, well, I'll show you how you can make them go two directions. You want those cute little piggies from the catalog kissing nose to nose? I'll show you how to do it. Today I am using some of the chicks from the, I believe it's the Hey Birthday Chick set. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to show you guys about mirror imaging today. And I'll, we'll look at this card right here. You see how this turtle's going that way? And the turtles going that way well it's the same turtle I've just stamped it so that it's a mirror image and I cut them out so you can do that with any kind of image with no issues if you're gonna cut them out you can just stamp them on your paper so let me show you real quick you don't have to worry about what you're doing if you're going to just stamp them down on the paper anywhere so like here's our first one then we're going to use our silicone mat for the second one and it doesn't really matter because we're going to cut them out so then you stamp on your silicone mat and then just rub it all around give that ink chance to soak in to the paper now you've got mirror images so when you cut them out they'll be doing the same thing like they can hold hands and then I could cut those out and use them in this type of an idea but if you don't want to cut them out and you want your images to be mirrored on the same piece of paper then you've got to try a couple different techniques so one way to do it is to line it up on your paper I'd stamp the first one first so we'll want these guys kinda dancing along so we put him down and then we'll say the second There's a, there's a logo on here. I don't want to be stamping on the logo. So then the second guy we're going to stamp down and then we're going to turn him over and then you just kind of have to place it, place it where you want it on your paper and then lay your paper down and do the rub on it. But there's some easier ideas and I will show you a couple other ways that are simpler and more precise than doing it that way. That's just a, a quick how-to so you could think that they're dancing and then you could finish it off with some, even if you have some little musical notes up there, put some, um, like put a little bit of a shadow under their feet. Kind of to show some movement like. My pen doesn't want to write. And then if you had some musical notes or something, like I said. But I will show you some, some more ways that this can be done. And you don't have to hope that you've lined that up correctly. So here's another way. For those of you that might not have the Stamparatus at home. Let's stamp our chicken down. And then you can grab a cello bag, one of the cellophane like card envelope bags. Let's see if I can do this without. So just stamp on the, hopefully I'm in the camera. Let's just stamp on the bag. Careful not to wiggle it around. Then lay your image down where you want it to go. 
and we'll just have them like high five on each other kind of thing and then just rub across it you could probably try and use your bone folder to smooth it out and then gently lift it up oops I didn't get it uh, I got it a little I smeared them a little bit but that that's one way that you could do it I didn't do it the greatest job but that's an idea on how you can also do that if you don't have a stamparatus at home to, or but if you don't have stamparatus and you have another positioning tool it will work and so I will show you how to do this technique using your stamparatus now hang on so the um, chicken stamp has the foam on the back of it so I don't need to use the foam on my stamparatus so I'm going to put down this plastic sheet that my friend made for me. And I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm just going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to kind of put it up here like so. And then I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to kind of put it on my card where I want it to go. So I'm going to stamp it down. Let's see, I'm going to stamp it down. Pick him up. Let's pick him up. I'm going to put my magnet down to hold it in place. Then let's ink up the chicken around one. Put him down there. And then now we want to do the mirror image of our chicken. Now that we have the first image down, make note of where your uh, your paper is at on on your grid sheet or whatever you're using there. Just gonna make a little little mark on there just so I know I did not do that ahead of time when I put the paper down I should have been more precise with where I put it but I'm going to take my paper away and then I'm going to use the silicone mat again so I used that in the other example and the silicone mat is one of the cheapest things in the catalog and it's really 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 like one of the most versatile things that that we have it's just very very um, useful for uh, adhesive adhesive doesn't stick to it uh, you can use the hot um, hot your embossing heat on it. it doesn't do anything you can it's just amazing with the things that you can do on it I don't know if that's gonna shut if I put that on there and then it just wipes right off. It's just you can watercolor, you can put ink directly on it. Um, it's just really, really cool with the things that you can do with it. And reverse mirror imaging is one of the fun things that you can do. Sorry, guys, I got a totally different setup going on to be over by my window today, and I keep bumping my camera stand, and I, I apologize. So you want to ink it up, ink up your chicken. And push it down onto the silicone mat and if you want to be sure and get a really really good dark image ink it up a couple times close it down again and because you're using the stamparatus it's stamping in the exact same spot open it up then take your paper And I should be, let's see, I don't know how far away my chickens are going to be. But you want to line your, um, the corner of your paper back up where you started. Like so. 
and then go ahead and close down one more time on your chicken press it down and then this this press is going to go onto the back of your paper but it's also going to force the image from the silicone mat onto your um, paper so now I have a reverse image of my chickens they're not quite holding hands um, you could have or I could have like folded my paper in half let me show you I gotta get another piece of paper so take the cardstock that you want to do and fold it in half that's one way to make sure that you've got it in the center if that's what you're looking for so I will come up to the top just for better measurement so come up to the top take your chicken here's this little wing kinda want that right in the center of that fold line press him down he's pretty darn close and then you can do you know do what you I just did with the whole I'll flip it over and use this side so I got it up at the top we'll ink him up stamp down chicken one Take him off. I'll use a different area. And then I'll wash it in a second. Load it up at the top of the line. Ink him up good for chicken two. Put a couple good rounds of the ink down press it down and then now you wouldn't be using the paper that with the line in the middle I just am running out of paper, paper pieces that I brought over but because we lined this chicken up with this we know that he is in the center so we're gonna flip our paper over and then we're going to line it up at the top with that line there up here close it up and give it a press and now this chicken stamping on the back of the paper should be pulling the chicken from the front of the paper or from the silicone mat and now there's a mirror image and I'm getting ink all over because I'm making a mess because I'm showing you too many different things at one time I'm just getting ahead of myself but that you guys is how the silicone mat will work and I'll let me uh, show you one more one more thing you can do while you're trying to line up your chickens and stuff hang on I'm going to show you one final way to make this reverse image using the stamp apparatus so we're going to get our silicone mat out again and we're going to uh, do the reverse image first so I'm going to line that up at the top line across there and I'm going to ink him up I'm just going to try and do them one time this time so I'm going to ink him up like so stamp it down then I'm going to lay my paper on up at the top and I'm gonna rub get that ink transferred really well onto the cardstock okay now I'm going to show you how we will do the lineup so we would just close it down and you can see my hands aren't going to touch again and this time I want them to touch you can see that they're not going to touch so what you can do is anybody that had a stamp on a jig if you remember what the stamp on a jig is you can 
go ahead and stamp it down again on your stamp -a jig like so and then you can move your paper underneath keeping certain that your stamp -a jig is lined up um, like up against the edges and such so you stay in alignment and then you can just move your paper underneath and yes I don't have to move it very far but I could have taken the stamp off and um, started over in a different spot just to show you guys a better example of how that works but so we've got it like that then I'm going to I'm going to put my magnet on there just so in all of this moving around it doesn't come off so then move your plastic sheet away I will ink up my chicky again close it down and open it up and then that's a really good way to make sure that you're like exactly in the right spot by using the sheet that came with the Stamparatus. All right, that was it guys. That was the reverse imaging technique uh, or mirror imaging. I also wanted to show you on this, I thought that this cute little chick down here, he would be really cute if the uh, reverse chick was sharing the cupcake with him. I thought that that would be really cute. So I didn't show you, but I thought that that would be really cute. Um, maybe I'll give that a try. So take care. I will be back again next week for another version of Finally Friday. I'm Jill Blanchett, and I'll see you again. Bye, guys.